Hello everyone, in this video I am going to show you what a view is. In MVC, V stands for view. In our last video, we saw that C stands for controller and we also understood what a controller is. And we set the default controller as department and default action as get info with date. We also saw that these settings we did in our global.asax file. Now I'll roll back those changes. That means I'll make home as default controller and index as default action. And I'll save this. And as we know that whenever I'm going to execute this, it is going to call this controller home and the index action method of that particular controller. It is going to display welcome to Manjur the trainer MVC series from home index. As we know that the method is returning this string. So this is the string that we see on the output screen. So whatever we see on the output screen is a view. Repeat the simple definition in layman language is whatever we see on the output screen is a view. Now I can format this. That is that means what is that I want to do? I want to bold this home hyphen index and I want to make Manjur the trainer a hyperlink so that whenever I click this, it should take me to that page. So what is that I can do? Definitely I can apply HTML tags in it. I'll put home index in bold tag and Manjur the trainer in anchor tag where href equals to http colon slash slash www dot manjur the trainer dot com and I'm going to close this anchor tag here now I want to make this string in multi line so instead of return directly returning the string I'll declare a string variable and I'll say result is equals to you can use x symbol to make this in multi line so that things should be visible to us and I have to return this result so you can see that home hyphen index is bold and Manjur the trainer is a hyperlink. I can click this, it will take me to Manjur the trainer portal. That means what? I can have my complete HTML text here. That means whatever I want to render on the output screen is my view. Now, what is that I'll do? Instead of rendering this thing, I'll just try to render a beautiful form. I have a form with me. I'll simply copy this. And I'll paste it here. Now this form contains few fields. A form tag. It's a simple HTML form, a form tag, and a table inside this. And I have some text, say enter your name, and that is of type input. So this is a text box. So these are simple HTML elements. I have created a complete form in HTML element. Now I'll return this. I'll save this and execute it. Now it should display me this beautiful form.
and here I get a beautiful form with radio button, drop down list, text area, submit button and all the fields that I have. This is a view. Now it becomes difficult for me to manage this code which is a string. Now what is that I can do? I can put this complete code in a separate file and that file is called as a view and my index method will no more return a string it is going to return that file that file is a view and its return type will be view result and I'll right click on this index and I'll say add view its name is index and I'll say add and here I'll get a normal HTML file with an extension of CSHTML and from my home controller I'll simply cut the complete form and I'll paste it in the body of index view and I'll save this. Now from here what is that I'll say it should return view that means what it is going to return a view whose name is index and this view is for home controller so you can find that view in views folder in views folder you'll have a folder for the controller home and inside this home controller folder you'll find this index file that is what we have created just now it is very simple if I remove this complete home folder and if I want to add that view once again simply right click on the index and say add view and say add you will get a home controller with this and paste the form here and save this now things are similar and the same earlier index method was returning a string which contains the complete HTML code but now the index method is returning a file that is a view which contains the code that we wrote in the string that is here so this is nothing but your view so whatever the end user sees is a view so view is nothing but a CS HTML file CS stands for C sharp so a C sharp HTML file now I'll execute this it should give me the same output that it gave when we were returning a string that's it this is very simple this is an introduction to the view now in our next video 